Okay, Philly Boy J is back with another video on how to make a quick and easy dinner. All right, and this is a quick and easy dinner recipe for all of my college students out there and my cooking beginners who are just learning how to cook for themselves. Today, what we have on the menu is pork chops, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make pork chops step by step. This is a very easy and basic pork chop recipe. And I'm going to be also making some corn and some rice. So what we're going to have today for dinner is pork chops, corn, and rice. All right? A very, 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 very easy and simple dinner recipe for all of you new cooks out there. All right? So what you're going to do is you're going to rinse off your pork chops with a little cool water. All right, um, I'm only using two pork chops. This is just for me, okay? Um, but if you're making dinner for a lot of people, you can obviously use more. But you just wanna rinse your pork chops off lightly like that. What you're going to do now is you're going to get a frying pan and you're going to place your frying pan over I say medium low heat all right so make sure it's kind of low but not too low and to your frying pan you're going to add about two tablespoons of butter And then you're going to add your pork chops. You don't even have to wait until the butter melts completely. Add your pork chops. If you're making a lot of pork chops, you'll just have to make them like two or three at a time. And you'll probably want to use a larger frying pan. have a little small piece right here I add that too <laughs> what you're going to do now is you're going to season your pork chops very lightly with a little seasoning salt if you don't have seasoning salt you know I always tell you guys you can use adobo seasoning or regular salt. This is how adobo seasoning look for all of you who don't know. You're going to also use a little garlic powder. And some black pepper. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little water. About that much there. And about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar if you're one of those people who are disgusted by vinegar you can leave it out but if you want to follow my recipe to a tea I suggest that you use it it gives it a good taste turn these over You can season this side a little as well, lightly, with season salt, garlic powder, and pepper. If 
by the way guys if you see something that looks like this just scoop that out with a fork or a spoon all right and what I'm going to do to make sure that my pork chops are nice and tender is I'm going to cover it with a top I'll see you guys once they are done okay guys so here are our pork chops as you can see the water has cooked down and out so we're going to brown our pork chops on each side once they're brown on one side turn them over and let them brown on the other side and then cut the fire off all right it should only take about two minutes for it to brown on each side okay so once your water cooked down let your pork chops brown on each side okay so we're going to turn my pork chops over now as you can see they kind of brown I'm going to let them brown on this side for about three minutes and I'm going to take them out Okay, so the next step is to get a frying pan, place it over high heat into the frying pan. We're going to add some frozen fresh corn. Right. You want to add just a little water. And you're going to let this cook until the water steams out as well. You're going to add some butter to this. Just a little seasoning salt or regular salt. about that much sugar a hint of pepper and we're gonna let that cook down like I said season salt sugar and pepper gives corn a wonderful taste and that's actually the way I make my corn on the cob as well I'll be doing a video on that in a couple months and last but not least what we're gonna do is get a bag of 10 minute success rice and we're going to Place it in a bowl with some water. We want to place this in the microwave for 10 minutes. Use however many bags you feel like you need. Okay guys, so that's our rice. Um, by the way, if you don't have a microwave, which I'm assuming you do, you can just place the rice in a pot of water and boil you it on high heat for 10 minutes instead. All right, so that's our rice is all done. And now we're gonna get ready to plate our dinner. All right. Okay, so it's dinner time. Let's get ready to plate our cooked foods. 
Here's our white rice. to that. Here's our sweet buttery corn. Pepper adds a little spiciness to it. Last but not least are pork chops. I personally like to add a little hot sauce to mine. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and tender too. Mmm. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please. Have a little small piece right here. I add that too. <laughs> what you're gonna do now is you're going to season your pork chops very lightly with a little seasoning salt. If you don't have seasoning salt, you know I always tell you guys. You can use adobo seasoning or regular salt. This is how adobo seasoning look for all of you who don't know. You're going to also use a little garlic powder. So make sure it's kind of low but not too low. Into your frying pan, you're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to add your pork chops. You don't even have to wait until the butter melts completely. Add your pork chops. If you're making a lot of pork chops, you'll just have to make them like two or three at a time. And you'll probably want to use a larger frying pan. I have today for dinner is pork chops, corn, and rice. All right? A very, 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 very easy and simple dinner recipe for all of you new cooks out there. All right? So what you're going to do is you're going to rinse off your pork chops with a little cool water. All right. Um, I'm only using two pork chops. This is just for me. Okay. Um, but if you're making dinner for a lot of people, you can obviously use more. But you just want to rinse your pork chops off lightly like that. do now is you're going to get a frying pan and you're going to place your frying pan over I say medium low heat all right
Okay, Philly Boy J is back with another video on how to make a quick and easy dinner. All right, and this is a quick and easy dinner recipe for all of my college students out there and my cooking beginners who are just learning how to cook for themselves. Today, what we have on the menu is pork chops, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make pork chops step by step. It's a very easy and basic pork chop recipe. And I'm going to be also making some corn and some rice. So what we're going to have and some black pepper. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little water. About that much there. And about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you're one of those people who are disgusted by vinegar, you can leave it out, but if you want to follow my 